Right, today we're going to find ourselves a Storm Grey Xbox One S from the CX website. So we're just going to do that by going into gaming and then we will go to Xbox One, Xbox One consoles. We'll sort by price low to high and we want to find the Storm Grey. So here we go, discounted one there for £130. I'm not going to go for that one. Uh, because I want it to be in slightly better condition so it's going to go in my living room I want it to look nice uh, so the discounted ones there's usually scratches on them that kind of thing or the uh, the controllers are, are not in very good condition uh, so we've got an unboxed one for £140 so it's an extra 10 so I'm going to buy that and we'll see what happens next a couple of days later here it is so let's get it unboxed and see what we get so it looks to be really nicely packaged. Um, we've got, it seems to be shrink wrapped into the box to stop it from moving around. So we've got this little box of goodies here. Let's open that and see what we get in there. So we get power cable. HDMI. And controller, nice. I've never actually seen the uh, Storm Grey one, so that's another one to add to the collection. Seems to be in really good condition, actually. Uh, it looks like it needs a bit of a dust, but that's okay. Other than that, it looks looks great. A couple of tiny little scratches on the back, but I'm not not really going to care about those. And then we've got the console itself, which I'll just take from this shrink wrap. And here it is so a couple of tiny little scuffs on the front nothing again that I'm too bothered about uh, the top of it is immaculate to be honest with you really good condition and on the back it seems quite dust free so we've got all the uh, usual IO that you expect on an Xbox One S and on the sides tiny little little scratch there but Nothing there uh, I'm bothered about. Underneath, a couple of little bits of scratches, fingerprints, the usual, but it is a used console. Can't complain. And then on the other side, seems seems fine. And it is now powered on. Uh, the only thing I've changed here is I've got a HDMI to VGA converter running out the back of it. And that's just because it's a VGA monitor. Because I like to do things on a budget. Console is very quiet there's a really nice amount of airflow coming out of it which suggests to me that uh, it's in good condition so off camera i'm just going to get signed in and then i'm going to download a couple of games and show you it up and running and once i've got connected to the internet there is an update to run which was not unexpected so we'll get that done so that's now all updated and I am signed in and everything looks good to go so again the console is running sensible temperature Plenty of airflow coming through. Everything seems okay, so we'll pop a disc in and see what happens. So the jet button's chiming like it should. And today we're just going to put this absolute banging game in. It's taking the disc alright, and it's installing. So And inevitably, the game needs an update. So we'll update that now, and I'll jump back in in a moment. So after the installation of Destroy All Humans, what I did was pad down the console... And I've come back, this is the next day, uh, and the console is dead. So it won't even power on from the controller. So I've tried it with loads of different combinations, with different TVs, different uh, power cables. Absolutely nothing is working. So very disappointing. So it's actually going to have to go back to CX. So I'm going to send it back to them and ask for a replacement so after a couple of weeks of to and fro in, so I emailed CX to let them know the problem. They did respond to me, advising me that I needed to return it. Um, but because it was worth over £100, I actually needed to send it via an insured courier. Um, so the, the standard pickup that's free doesn't cover over £100. So what I had to do was pay for special delivery, which was just over £14. And what I have actually got is a cheque from CEX so once I'd returned it 
I sent them an email saying, can you refund the postage? They said, yeah, no problem. And they sent me a check through the post. So I now have the money back for the costs I incurred to send it. You can actually, with special delivery, you can get it picked up from your house. So you don't need to queue in a post office. So that was fairly, uh, fairly convenient. But now I bought another one. So I got a refund via voucher uh, because I paid with a voucher. And here we go. This is what's come now. So I've ordered the same item. Um, they did They did ask if I wanted a, a replacement or if I wanted a refund. I did say I'm not that bothered either way. So they gave me a voucher um, and I've just basically spent it on the same thing. So very different packaging this time. It's got a box of goodies here and wrapped in this wonderful stuff. You should have the Storm Grey Xbox One S. And here it is. So I ordered the same condition, so not the discounted, uh, but also not the boxed. So it's uh, looks okay. Bit of bit of dust on this one, uh, and just on the back, you can see there's a, a sticker that's been on it at some point. That's been uh, half removed, but I, I'll be able to remove that if I if I wish to. But first things first, I want to make sure it works. So just move the box out of the way. And our little box of goodies, we'll just open that up and more packaging. So we've got power cable, as expected. HDMI cable, this looks like the original one, which is pretty good. And the controller, which is in okay condition. Again, a bit of dust, but I think some of the packaging is, uh, is causing that problem. It's actually a CX branded box. So, quite interesting there. So off camera, gonna get this set up and we'll do the same again. Right, okay, so we're now powered on and everything seems okay. Uh, we've got video output, we've got sound. It's a little bit noisier than the last one. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's sort of, sounds like the fan might be a bit dusty. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not too concerned. It seems to be running okay so far. So I'll just get it set up off camera and then we'll test the game. And as expected, quite a big update, uh, just over 800 megabytes uh, that just needs to download. Just while that's downloading, I'll take a closer look at the controller. Uh, as you can see, the top right of the stick has kind of worn away. So it's not in amazing condition. Um, so yeah, not, not really too happy with that. Uh, the other stick... The right stick is okay, um, it's not eroded or anything. And there, there is, just there with the uh, the connection here, you can see, I thought it was rust, but I think it's the edge of the PCB. So I don't know if his controller has been opened at some point and not quite clipped back together, but um, I have seen them in better condition, to be honest. Just that, that white battery pack is just what I've added, uh, so I'm not wasting a load of uh, AA batteries. We'll see what happens when the update's uh, finished. I mean, controllers, uh, well, they're nearly as much as the console now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, not that easy to get hold of, but uh, you can get pre-owned ones in better condition than this. And so far, so good. Everything is fine. So I'm just going to install a game with some updates, as I tried to do previously. I've just gone for Destroy All Humans again. So it's just going to run through the install process from the disk and then from the network. So I've now had it just over a week and I've been using it quite a lot for playing games and also watching some Blu-rays as you do have that up to 4K Blu-ray actually um, capability. So I'm quite happy with the purchase. The only disappointment I had was obviously having to send the original one back. But in CX's defence, they put everything right. I wasn't left out of pocket. Might have taken me a little bit of time to organise the special delivery. Uh, but to be to be quite honest with you, it's not, not the end of the world. I don't think it's their fault that the original console was broken. They don't have time simply because the margins aren't that high on items like this. They don't have time to strip them down, test them for hours on end and then sell them. Because they never make any money. And then there'd be no point in the business at all. So I do think uh, it's not really their fault. Someone's clearly sold them a, or part exchanged a dud console. Uh, they've taken it in good faith. They've sold it in good faith. But unfortunately, when it's landed with me, 
it hasn't worked but this this one this replacement's good could have done with a bit of a nicer controller a little bit disappointed at that i would maybe suggest that in the future a console like this with a poor gamepad would be a discounted model with a little bit of money off uh, i did deliberately aim for a model that isn't discounted because i wanted it to be in good condition uh, sadly that's not turned out but i'm not that bothered um, the controller works and I'm more than capable of replacing the control sticks if I would like to do that. That is it for this video. If you've not yet subscribed, then please do so down there. And please also hit the bell notification if you want more chaotic videos such as this one. I'll see you in the next one.